Okay, you're in tune to WVOF 88.5 FM in Fairfield, Connecticut, broadcasting from Fairfield University. This is The Upper Room with Joe Kelly, 4 to 8 p.m. each and every Monday. And uh, we're going to get right off into uh, welcoming a very special guest, a VIP guest to The Upper Room. He's been here several times. He is a musician, producer, and uh, he's been... Uh, i got to turn your mic on, see? I'm going to get fired, right? <laughs> uh he, he's a DJ as well, and uh, he's been a member of the Tom Tom Club, but he also does uh, solo projects, which uh, are really outstanding. He's been performed here, actually, a few years ago. His name is Kid Ginseng. So uh, what's up, Kid Ginseng? What's up, Joe? Happy to be here. Yeah, great to see you again, and uh, you've been real busy, right, in the studio and other uh, things, right? Yeah, yeah. Um, I've been really busy preparing for two shows coming up, and... Um, just getting my material done and then rehearsing it because I make all my material before I play it live. I do it like I have accompanied tapes like Soft Cell or something like that. Mm -hmm. So it's like I I, uh, imp I make music over. Um, it has it has tape running. Well, I shouldn't say tape. That's an 80s term. That you know yeah. what I mean though. Yeah. It's got a it's got a CD running. So uh, you've been in the studios working. All different stuff, and you know, I got to give you a lot of credit because you, you, the music that you make is always changing. You know, you can't like pinpoint what you've been doing. Well, I always try to make every song different. I don't try to abuse the same uh, keyboard sounds or anything like that. Mm -hmm. I try to make the, a new keyboard, a new synth sound by uh, using the oscillators instead of just always using factory sounds. So, do you play a lot of keyboards yourself? Different keyboards? Yeah, I like to sequence some of them with MIDI and then play by hand some of them over top. Mm -hmm. So, uh, you know, you spoke on, you got a couple shows coming up. Um, what, what, what's coming up uh, in the next few weeks? Well, we got um, this next Saturday at the Sidewalk Cafe in uh, the Greenwich Village in the East Village. It's at the corner of Avenue A and East 6th Street. And um, I'm going on at 1030. I, you want me to read the whole lineup? Yeah, sure. All right, I'll Sweet. read the whole lineup. It's uh, 10 o'clock, Adam Matta, who is, uh, who is um, a human beatboxer. Then 10.30, it's me, Kid Ginseng, doing my electro. And then uh, 10 o'clock, it's my friend, Matt Happy, from New Jersey. And then 12 o'clock, uh, Jeffrey Lewis. And it's a suggested donation of $5, but it's all ages and it's free. So remember that part in quotation marks, free. Right. But donate $5 anyway. So um, that's the Sidewalk Cafe, corner of Avenue A and East 6th Street in uh, the East Village of Manhattan. And that's on, uh, that's of course on the 1st of May, okay. which is a Saturday. Saturday, right. Do you, in New York City, uh, as a performer, any great nights? What's the best night to be doing a show of the week? I'd say any place, I'd say almost anywhere in the, in around I'd say Friday night is the best. Mm -hmm. That's what I think, anyway. Friday night, and, and you love playing in New York, right? Yeah, I've played yeah. in New York in more than one band. I've played in a couple bands in New York, and now I'm doing my... Recently, I'm doing my own thing, so I'm not playing in any bands right now. Mm -hmm. I'm just doing my uh, my electro performance. And uh, you'll be also doing a local uh, show in the next couple weeks. That's uh, right. That's going to be where? That's going to be at Tokay Hall Teen Center in Westport. So any teens listening, this is for you. Um, it's uh, Friday, May 7th, and the address is 58 Post Road East, Westport, Connecticut. And the info line is 203-341-1155. Doors open 7.30 p.m. It's $5. This one isn't free. But um, I'll read what it says. Mm -hmm. It says, here's how the flyer goes. These guys are from Connecticut. Come see performance art from DJ of Deep Banana Blackout, Kid Ginseng. Also, we got um, a hardcore band, Molasses Tavern, playing. And then we've got a punk band called Sex Guns and Rock and Roll. And uh, th that's how the lineup reads, headliner to, uh, to opening. So it would be a very eclectic uh, bill right there, right? But it's all very, like, the whole thing that, that brings it all together is it's all wham bam exciting music. None of it is like doo -doo 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 out there. Right. It's all just boom, concise, just wham bam. Like you got hardcore, you've got punk 
um, like I'd say my performance art is is very rooted in punk. It's like if you want to like use the term cyberpunk, right. it's like it's got that it's got like a a new wave early '80s feel, but like it's a lot punkier and a lot harder than that. It's just you you'll hear it in a minute on the air, but um, it's like it's like uh, you'll you'll hear it. It's like I'm I'm replacing the punk guitar with a synthesizer, so it's big and loud. Loud is the key. All these bands are loud, so that's why you should come see us because we're not like, you know, little, you know, we don't just stand on stage just still standing there. It's fun and loud and exciting. Yeah, great performers, right? Yeah. These guys, Molasses Tavern, like just basically thrash all over the place, almost destroying their equipment. They move around so much. So if uh, you just tuned in right here to WVOF, my special guest here on the Upper Room in WVOF is uh, Kid Ginseng, uh, turntablist, DJ, and uh, performer, know, performer, and uh, makes his own music and great, uh, great guy. And uh, you know, go and check him out at the shows. Definitely uh, see him. I, I've caught him uh, a few times over the years. Shenanigans and Toad's Place, and he, he's in Stanford out uh, live at five, something like that. Yeah. Series, so yeah. Yeah. Great, great performer. And uh, you know, you got new music. I always thank you for for coming by and bringing the new stuff. That's for you, Joe. Oh, thanks. Thanks, Kid Ginseng. So, uh, what do you want to go with? Do you want to start off with something like this? Give people a taste. Well, all right. Um, let's start off with uh, track two. It's called Stun Gun, and it's a little love song about getting what you want late at night. All right. Stun Gun. This is uh, from Kid Ginseng right here on WBOF. All right, that is brand new music. Thanks so much. Uh, bring by the new stuff right there. Kid Ginseng, Stun Gun, right? Yeah, that's right. Yeah, working with a lot of different uh, innovative sounds there. Well, yeah. thank you. It's yeah. it's um it's a lot harder than the '80s electro. It's like um it's just punkier than that. It's a lot harder. So, did you grow up um? Uh, listen to a lot of electro and stuff like that or you just gravitate towards it um like my dad had like uh he had some africa bambata records mm -hmm. and uh he had the herbie hancock record rocket yeah i got and that one too yeah yeah, yeah. Right. so that kind of electro and he, he even had a miami bass record by the two live crew mm -hmm. from like 86 or something like that right and uh that was that was really early miami bass so um I've always heard it, uh, even the radio station um, KTU in New York, they always played Latin freestyle. So, like, sometimes I hear that. And, um, yeah, pretty much like the, oh, let me not leave out craft work. Right, that's right. I mean, they're the, they're the maestros. They're the, uh, they're the godfathers. So I heard, I heard their album Computer World at an early age from my dad. Mm-hmm. So, Computer World is my favorite album by them. So, uh, that was Kid Ginseng, Stun Gun, and uh, he's brought some new music, and uh, he'll be performing two shows. L let's hit up the, the dates uh, one more time before we got to take a quick break here. Uh, All right, the next show is Saturday, May 1st, at the Sidewalk Cafe in the East Village of Manhattan. That's the corner of Avenue A and East 6th Street. And um, then we've got Friday, May 7th, at Toke Hall Teen Center for the teens at 58 Post Road East, Westport, Connecticut. Info line is 203-341-1155. Doors open 7.30, and that's $5. And the acts are Kid Ginseng Performance Art, Molasses Tavern Hardcore Band, and uh, Sex Guns Rock and Roll, which is punk rock. And uh, one, one more for the, uh, the Toke Teen Hall. We'll give them that one, too. Uh yeah, that's that's Friday May seventh. I mm -hmm. I already went through it all. Yeah, and that's uh gonna be just for teenagers. So that's that's yeah. right. That's for teenagers. We don't want like groups of college kids coming. So if you want to come alone, just in like one group of co one one or two college kids, um, but um together, that's fine. But we can't have like a lot. That that's not my fault. That's due to uh the rules of the town of Westport. Right. 
So uh, it'd be good to see Kid Ginseng back on stage. We'll take a short break and come back and speak more with Kid Ginseng. Okay, we're back here. This is the Upper Room with Joe Kelly right here at WVOF 88.5 in Fairfield, Connecticut. Kid Ginseng is back. This could be your third or fourth appearance here. Yeah, yeah, you know, always nice to see you. It's always fr- it's always very f- friendly environment. Thanks to you, Joe. Nah, you know, you're coming with the music, so it's a, it's a lot easier. So, uh, you know, uh, working on new music. I mean, we played uh, your other music here a lot here on the show, and seeing you perform it uh, at Shenanigans and Toad's place. Uh, how about the new the new stuff you've been working on? How, how do you look at that? And ha- well, working in the studio. Well, we can get back to that, but first of all, I'd like to give a couple shout-outs to some record stores. Go right ahead. All right, I want to give a shout-out to The Machine Shop, which is 3008 Fairfield Avenue in Bridgeport. Their number is 203-333-0125. And that's mostly um, hardcore, metal, skateboards, and uh, graffiti stuff. And um, I want to give a shout-out to Daryl at the machine shop and he's got another store opening up in uh east, haven? east yeah he's got another store opening up in east haven you can call the number 203-468-6527 also i want to give another shout out to trash american style in uh danbury connecticut i want to give a shout out to um kathy and malcolm because they always promote anything uh diy anything punk rock anything do it yourself whatever so, uh, that's in Danbury, Connecticut. You should look them up if you want some obscure music that you collect. So, do you still buy a lot of records going to shop? Yeah, yeah. yeah I, I mostly buy CDs now because I've pretty much maxed out my vinyl collection. I have like I don't know, two hundred, three hundred. Right. Uh, maybe not. Maybe only two hundred. Probably just two hundred. Over a hundred, though. So you know, we heard a uh, stun gun which is new from, from the studios you've been working in. and um, you know How about the keyboards? We, we talked off air about it, uh, what you've been working with. All for, right. for our musicians out there. All right. I try to use very minimal equipment because I just try to get a lot out of a little. So I use the uh, micro cord, which you can get at Guitar Center. <laughs> 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 Boy, I'm really an advertisement right. today, aren't I? Yeah. Um, yeah, that's that. You can um, it has oscillators, and you can make your own. You can customize your own sounds. It's got a vocoder, which I'm using at my shows, which is really fun mm-hmm. and simple to use. And uh, wait, there's more. Bring it on. No. <laughs> um. So, uh, all right. What? What? We get back to the question you were asking me. I forgot. No. Um. I was. I did forget. But, you know, you got a couple shows coming up. and uh, right. What goes into the preparation for you to make everything work right at a show? All right. I like to uh, run through my... I don't do any talking in between my songs, only at the beginning and at the end. Mm-hmm. So I like to run run through the whole set in a marathon. There's no spaces between the songs. It's just boom, boom, done at the end. And um, that's how I do it because I was influenced by the Ramones to do that just to knock it out and that's it right? yep, yep yeah and um you're you're a big fan of the ramones and everything how about going down to playing some of the clubs I, kn- I know you played uh you played down in the village right have i i've played i've played in another band there mad happy okay right i played I there I playing in mad happy playing as their dj is I've that at cbgb no i no. forget the name of that club my brother's played cbgb's a couple times one time opening for Discharge, mm-hmm. which is pretty well known for being horrible, but that's what people like about them. Right. People want it to be, people want it to be unmusical. That's their slogan: noise, not music. You know the scene from Connecticut and New York City. I mean, you played in both places. Do you see uh, a difference? And up and down the East Coast. Yeah, that's right. Uh, you see a difference in different spots. Yeah, definitely. Um, I I like. See, see, the thing is, when we go to play other places, it's always like a center of activity there. So there's always cool stores to go to and cool people to meet who work at record stores and stuff like that. But uh, out here in the burbs, we really have to uh, have to stick together. Right. Really got to have a network and stick together so we can uh, so we can make the rise of the suburbs. And it's tough. <laughs> <and it's> tough. <laughs> 
Hey, there's the sound bite from this interview right there. <laughs> the rise of the suburbs from from uh, Kid Ginseng at the front of it. So, uh, you know, um, we should get into some more music. All right. Uh, alpha Male? Yeah, Alpha Male. Yeah. This is about... This is about the type of people that you see with their fitted turtleneck sweatshirts. I mean, not sweatshirt, uh, sweaters, the AF sweaters with the with the stripe going down the middle. They've got the spiky gelled hair, and then they've got the the um the chain coming out over their outfits. The chain coming out over the shirt. So yeah, I took mine off before you came here. No, I'm just kidding. With you. <laughs> 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 I'm just kidding. Yeah, it's called Alpha yeah. Male. Alpha Male. Yep. So this is Kid Jin Sang right here on WVOF and uh, Brand New Music. All right, that's enough there. Enough uh, public service announcements. We've got a great artist here in the studio. Yep, Kid Jin Sang Kid here Jin on uh, 88.5 WVOF, The Beast. Yeah, The Beast. When are you going to come down and get your own show? Come on. You should do it this summer. Uh, Well, I don't have time. I'm doing shows and writing music. Okay, there, there you go. It's good to be a working musician, right? Yeah, yeah, um, yeah, it is. So, uh, you know, you've been working on uh, some new material, and uh, you talked about uh, the process of writing and stuff like that. Yeah, I mean, you're an independent artist. What goes into getting the word out? I mean, marketing your shows and, and promoting your music. I mean, got to get tight with those record stores, right? Well, originally when I was 17, I came out with an electro tape that was sort of sold underground around the world. So I did all that by myself. But um, uh, I haven't had to do much promotion for myself yet because I've been part of other bands, just mm -hmm. been a member of a, hi a hired member of other bands being a part of their thing. So um, uh, now that I'm so low, I guess you can say, <laughs> um, I ha I'm starting from scratch and I'm just uh, building my connections and uh, using some of my old ones. And uh, that's about it. And uh, you'll be able to hear a lot of the new music at the upcoming shows at the Sidewalk Cafe Saturday night in Manhattan. And uh, and you've uh, got the uh, May 1st Tokay Hall Teen Center. So don't come in droves of college kids because they'll kick you right out. So if you want to come one at a time, that's cool. Well, that'll be for the after party the college kids can go and you can set up shop. Yeah, know? the college right. kids can all come over to uh, my house. Right. <laughs> I don't know if you wanted me to say that because you probably <laughs> after the gig. I don't know if you'd want to do that, but hey, cool. it's just like it's just like Motley Crue, you know. Right. You got the v, uh, the VH1 behind the music, the Motley Crue house, you know. Yeah. You got the syringes on the floor. That's just like my house. All right, we're gonna get into <laughs> some music. <laughs> hey, it makes for great radio, right? Yep. Yeah, Kid Ginseng is here. He's got the high zone. What, what's going on in this song? High zone. It's a distorted synth, kind of like a Ramones guitar, mm -hmm. and um, it's it's a, a tongue-in-cheek song about um, about smoking reefer in the city in public, stuff like that. All right. So uh, we'll listen to this and uh, reminiscent of some of the Ramones, and it's Kid Ginseng right here at WVF. All right, there you go. Fresh new music from Kid Ginseng. Kid Ginseng. Yeah, there he is, and in the studio with you. A good friend from the uh, Tom Tom Club and the Paul Bears, Mystic Bowie. And right, uh, Mystic Bowie was on that track, doing his own thing, writing his own his own uh, p uh, patois right there. And uh, you know, we were comparing hairstyles there, Kid Jin saying, "Always, you're always stylish, right? Got the asymmetrical." Uh, yeah, now I'm haircut. Now I'm asymmetrical fashion punk. Right. And. Uh, I've I've gone through different phases, different. Uh, I'm pretty much refining it now. I I always get the same haircut, just a little different. I just like get different people to trim it. I always have like uh, women trim my hair, so I don't have to go to back to the salon. I've had multiple girls cut my hair, including my mom. Yeah, I used to have that happen, but it, for me, it was like a, as a kid, like a traumatic experience. Oh, with the mom cut the hair, yeah. Oh yeah, well my mom my mom is used to how I like it, so she knows what I want. Right. So big ups to uh your mom. Yep. Yeah. And uh that's high zone new music from Kid Jin Sang who stopped by here at WVOF and uh he's got a couple shows coming up May first, the Sidewalk Cafe in New York City and he'll have uh the uh promo 
available, and uh, you can email them in advance at kidginseng at AOL.com. Yeah, the promo is $0.99. Cents. You get four ch- songs for $0.99, cents. kidginseng at AOL.com. And uh, you can get it from me at my shows, limited quantities, at um, the Sidewalk Cafe on on uh, May 1st, Saturday, corner of Avenue A and uh, East 6th Street in uh, Greenwich Village, Manhattan. And uh, you can also go to the uh, Friday, May 7th show at the Tokay Hall Teen Center, primarily for teens, uh, 58 Post Road East, Westport, Connecticut, info line 203-341-1155. So you're, you're not too far from being a, a teenager. You're a young cat. Um, what, do you, what do you see you know, around that age, you know, junior, senior, in high school, what, what have uh, they been getting into? And are they, are they going out to see shows when they can? Yeah, well, I think Weston High has uh, is into hardcore music. Okay. That's what they like there. And, I mean, besides the mainstreamers, of course. <laughs> the mainstreamers. Who are the yeah. mainstreamers? No, no. <laughs> um, mainstreamers are into, like, what, it, um, they're into, like, passive, like, misguided fruity music and like um i don't know also of course you know the richer the kids are the more they like hip-hop because it's such a contrast to them so they like their ludicrous and their uh it's just very they like the ghetto music like little john the east side boys right. yeah yeah there you go <laughs> what, what? <laughs> yeah yeah Hey, you're gonna, you're gonna make some people happy with that because we got we got uh, DJ Rebo speaking of hardcore. He's a you know big fan of the Chappelle Show too. Yeah, okay, good. Yeah. Well, that that ties in then. Right. Perfect. So, uh, Kid Ginseng, uh, you know, we should spend before we uh, come back and talk one one final time. We should spend something from the double CD if you want. Uh, all right, I got this uh, Gigolo Records I, compilation. I, I trust all the music you recommend. I got this import from Europe. Okay. Yeah, it's from Germany. And uh, I'm gonna I'm gonna pick out a cut for you to not play. The, right not now. the fat truckers. Oh, the fat truckers is awesome. Uh-huh. But I I want to play something. Do you want really distorted punk rock or do you want like really catchy? I will go real catchy. All right, that's cool. Um, CD two. Because one one time I played the Crow Mags on my show because I had the drummer on. Hey, and I've never heard them. They're '80s hardcore, right? Yeah, yeah. And uh, I had the drum. The guy who plays with uh, Bernie Warrell plays drums for the uh, Crow Mags. And uh, a friend of mine was listening to my show and heard the Crow Mags, and he thought something would happen to my show when I played it. So that's awesome. And he though. called up. Yeah. Is that really fast? And brutal, yeah. Brutal music. Yeah. Pretty fast. Two, three minute songs. All right. Play this. This is the second cut of this CD. It's uh, Mount Sims, No Yellow Lines. Some modern new electro. So this is the Kid Ginseng pick of the day, other than uh, the music he's brought of his own. And we'll get into it and come back and speak one final time. Kid Ginseng pick of the day here on the Upper Room. That's Mount Sims with No Yellow Lines. You can get right. that. Um, it's a German import, international G- DJ Gigolos CD7 compiled by dj hell so uh you know you've been really busy on your own music and of course uh the upcoming shows but uh you also have some production uh projects coming up who are you gonna be working with yeah i'm I'm producing this artist named anat ben david who is originally from israel but she lives in uh london now and um she she opens for the chicks on speed on tour they're both performance artists and um she also does the videos for the accompanying videos for Chicks on Speed. And she's a very loud type of punk rock singer. And um, she's, she uh, has a lot of charisma. And she really, really uh, does a high energy performance on stage. So are you open to working with other uh, people on, on music? Yeah, I'm, yeah. I'm, I'm uh, open to uh, per, um, I'm open to giving other people music, but they have to blow me away. I'm not. I'm not like a, a producer for hire. I have my own my own projects that I work on for me. So, it, um, unless it's going to be something really great, I can't just produce people. It's I have to play shows and have to write music. Right. 
So a uh, couple shows coming up uh, at the Sidewalk Cafe in New York City. What, what's the street address there for Saturday's show? That's the corner of Avenue A and East, si- East 6th Street. Okay, and uh, that'll be uh, with some other people on the bill, right? Yeah, that's with uh, um, Adam Matta at 10 o'clock, Kid Ginseng Me at 10.30, 11 o'clock, Mad Happy, and then 12 o'clock, Jeffrey Lewis. And uh, Mad Happy, they call themselves Hip Hop Electro Pop. I can call myself uh, New Electro. And this guy Adam Matta is a human beatbox. So that should be a fun little, fun little, um, t- fun little event right there. Just the three of us. Plus, there's, I mean, the show, the place opens like at seven or something. But you should really just get there for me at uh, ten thirty. That's right. Because <laughs> Kid Jin sang is all that. There he is. and um, My milkshake is better than yeah. yours. Damn right. Khalees, right? Yeah. Yeah. Uh, also, uh, more closer to here, although New York's not far at all, um, Westport Toke Teen Center. And that's, uh, that's right. That's Friday, May 7th, Toke Hall Teen Center, 58 Post Road East, Westport, Connecticut. Doors open, 7.30. It's $5. And for the... Uh, for the Saturday May first gig, there's a f- it's free, but there's a five dollar suggested donation. So come down there, that place, you know, everybody's getting into it. And you know, pass around the hat. You know, pass the hat. That's right. They do that more in New York than here, right? It seems that way. But yeah, 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 I think so. I've never actually done it before. I've just been playing in bands that just uh, just get paid. So. They got money. They got money in their pocket before they hit the stage. Yeah, a little yeah. bit at least. <laughs> right. But, uh, you know, it's always great to have Kid Jensen come to the studio. He's uh, come with the Tom Tom Club. He also uh, performed in the Upper Room with Joe Kelly Concert Series here. And uh, also just came by today and kicked uh, some of the new music and talked about the upcoming show. So Thank you so much, yeah, Joe. Yeah, thanks as always. And, uh, you know, look forward to seeing you out performing this summer. Yeah, um, hope um, I'm trying to get some gigs at... Uh, there's a couple places in Connecticut that I want to play, but mainly I'm gonna I'm gonna um try to try to get something going at the CBGB's gallery because it seems like a good place for me, for my style. Yeah, they they stream online too the shows live I think. Oh wow. Yeah, well, I've watched somebody perform there. Yeah. What what type of performance was it? Actually, he was a straight up reggae guy. Oh really? Yeah, which you know it w- he followed a hardcore band. Which wow. You know, yeah. How was the hardcore band? They, they were pretty good. What you know? what type of hardcore you think? You know, I'm not an expert on it. <laughs> you got the wrong guy, but it it was cool. It wasn't the hardest stuff, you know. It wasn't like uh, death metal or anything like that. But it, it was, you know, they had the crowd going. <laughs> it wasn't that. <laughs> but uh, yeah, that would that would like to see you down down there performing, and uh, you know, come by, come by and. Bring bring the whole setup for the music next time. Oh, to perform? Yeah, you're always welcome to. Yeah, well, I gotta find a good a good time, and that would be great. Yeah, we'll we'll be here all summer, and um, you know, keep working in the studio, coming up with this great music. You got you got um, you want to go with Danger Room to go out? Oh uh, well, actually, yeah, that's just uh, that's just a quick sort of um, collage. Yeah, go ahead and hit it. This is okay. a crazy collage. It's just a collage of of uh stuff that i put together it's it's over in like 30 seconds so so we'll listen to you right now and uh you know thanks to kid ginseng come out to the shows it's all yours